Okay, so another new piece of tech that I'm using, or not really tech, but I've got a new helmet mount for my Shoei GTA 2. Uh, if you're very, very lucky on some fairly rare helmets, you'll be able to use a standard mount. Uh, but generally speaking, this isn't the case and you'll need a specialized mount as you can see that I've got here. This is the Ride Tech Shoei GTA 2 mount. And I think it's about $25 to buy what they call the complete kit. And what it just comes with is it comes with a little extension arm here, which just gives you about that much more adjustability. And the reason you will need that is because while it's a really nice little elegant mount uh, that I didn't get on really well, uh, the alignment I kind of messed up a little bit, but because of where it's placed and the design of the helmet, you do need the mount to come quite a way out of the helmet so that you can then angle it back. And generally speaking, what I find is you want your GoPro lens angle to match your visor angle so that you get the proper point of view. If you can do that, you're gonna get a nice point of view. If you can't angle that camera back far enough, you're generally gonna get a lot more of the road. You're not gonna get the horizon necessarily, and that's gonna mean your footage is really mediocre. Whereas with that little extension arm, because I tried it without the extension arm, and then I tried it with the extension arm, you do need the extension arm on this helmet. I would not buy just the mount, it's not gonna work. Perhaps if you have one of these little extensions already from another kit, you may not, just, may not need to spend the extra money on it, but for me, certainly I would buy it. And I'm running the GoPro ball joint mount because that just gives me that little bit more adjustability on the angle. And you know, I can run it upside down quite easily and change all the angles really, really easily. I really like the ball joint mount. That's what I use for basically everything. And uh, I do think that that Ride Tech Shoei GTA 2 mount is really worthwhile. I'll put up a little bit of footage to give you an idea of kind of the angle and we'll see if I did nail it. Uh, it does look like here, you know, perhaps I could have just had the camera a little bit further out, but the, the camera is almost touching the air vent. And the good thing about this setup is it's not really affecting the air vent. The, the GoPro will affect the amount of air that you're getting through, but uh, realistically speaking, not a huge impact compared to some of the other setups on other helmets I've used. So I'm pretty happy with this and certainly the adhesive on it seems strong enough that after a number of rides I've had no issues whatsoever and uh, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm quite impressed. I guess 25 US dollars ends up about 35 almost 40 Aussie dollars and then I had to pay 1250 in shipping which the whole thing came to like 60 65 dollars so it's by no means cheap but if you're buying a good helmet mount it should last the life of the helmet realistically speaking and that's certainly my expectation here so I'll, I'll do a long-term update as far as the ride tech uh, helmet mount but it's a quite a simple design obviously they're a fairly simple piece of plastic with you know a really strong adhesive on it that holds it onto the helmet but overall, I'm quite impressed with the design overall. Quite happy with it. Maybe a little bit expensive, but uh, certainly I wouldn't buy like a really cheap Chinese helmet mount because number one, I'm always worried with the adhesive on those cheaper kits and I've always found it to be rubbish. And it's really important when you've got like a $500 camera connected to your helmet that it's not gonna fall off because that would be a big issue. If you're looking for a Shoei GTA 2 GoPro mount system, this would definitely be the one that I would recommend because I did a little bit of research. It was the one that seemed the best and certainly it's a nice small form factor. Works really, really well and I've had no complaints and I've probably done 1,200 kilometers on it so far uh, with a GoPro connected. So pretty good stuff so far. I'll chuck a link down below that you can follow basically to look at one of these. It might be an affiliate link if I can figure out how to do that and uh, yeah, see how you go. Certainly well recommended. So stay safe out there, thanks for watching. If you've got any questions about the mount or the helmet itself, let me know in the comments and I will do my best to answer them.